stage you're going to love. Make him feel welcome. James Nutter. Let him know. James Nutter. All right, all right. I always knew I was going to be on stage performing in front of a live audience. I always knew that. I didn't think I was going to have to pay for it, like I do my women. But I'm here. I'm here. You heard him, right? My last name's Nutter. Reminds you of Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Cookie. I get that a lot. Nutter Butter's definitely, probably, the second best cookie in America. Next to Oreo. The redheaded stepchild to Nabisco. The bad little brother. But let me tell you, the second that it became the second best cookie in America, they should have made it cereal, okay? And what I'm talking about is you try a bowl of Nutter Butters with milk, they don't fall apart. Now that's the breakfast for champions. I'm telling you. I mean, you can either be a Nutter Butter, or you can be a Bruce Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. I know, I know. Well, I want to let you know that Nutter is not just a cookie, okay? In England, they say, oh, look at those nutters over there. Look at those bloody nutters. It's a description of a crazy person. So I always knew right away I was going to have a problem finding a woman that's going to step up. She's going to have to be one crazy cookie to take that name on. I know. Well, thank God for Amazon. Thank God for Amazon. I found one in the jungles of Venezuela. Shipped for free. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. 10 years younger than me. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I got so lucky. I definitely married above me when it came down to the looks. She gave me two beautiful little boys. Unfortunately, she's no longer here with us. I know, sad, sad. But I do have two boys from her that always remind me. One is a Latin baby and one is an American baby. You say, oh, what's the difference? They were raised in the same house. There's a difference. When Jimmy was born, the Latin baby, Mama Crocodile. She protected that baby. She was on that baby. Everything for that baby. That baby was her vida. Okay? Then Nicholas, he was born. And she came to me and she says, Here, I can't do this again. You take him. And don't roll over on him because you'll kill him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Upstairs she went. She's raising Jimmy. I'm raising Nicholas. Well, there's a difference. I've got a Latin baby and I've got an American baby. And you say, well, what's the difference? The difference is, with the American baby when he cries, <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's it. You know how Americans do it. They're like, that's it, that's enough of that. Time out for you, young man. And they run, <laughs> flailing arms, run into the wall like you beat them. Oh, I hurt myself. You tell the Latin baby, you look at him, he's like crying, I, I. Hi, puppy. Hi, mommy. Dragging his knuckles on the floor. Big old snot bubble coming out of his nose. Hi, hi. Very dramatic. The way, the way that Spanish people are very dramatic. Another reason. He knew better than to throw that temper tantrum. Because Latin mamas, <laughs> they don't play that. Donde esta la paleta? Que paso? Tu quieres papá? I didn't even touch you yet and you're crying. I'll give you a fucking reason to cry. Which leads to this. My American baby, my little gringo Tino, he comes to me, he says, Daddy, may I please have a bowl of ice cream? No. Daddy, please, please, Daddy, Daddy, please, please, Daddy, I want a bowl, Daddy, please. An hour later, Daddy, Daddy, may I have that bowl of ice cream, please, please? Okay, okay, God, have your ice cream, just have it. Next time I tell you no, no means no. Jeez, take it, go, just get out of my face. The Latino baby, Papi, yo quiero poco ice cream, por favor. No. No ice cream for you. Okay, Poppy. He takes off. You're like, holy shit, he didn't even ask a second time. Oh, what a good little boy. I feel so bad. Next thing you know, you're handing him a whole gallon. Here you go, Poppy. You can have whatever you want. You're such a good little boy. Such a good... He knew better than to ask that second time because mom would be like, what did you say? No means no. Uh-uh, I don't think so, Poppy. Tu quieres, Papa? She will whoop his ass. Right now, I know, I know. The third thing, the third thing that separates them the most, Nicholas, the little gringo baby, he was born out of the C-section, okay? The little Venezuelan, sweet, innocent, little, little Latino, he was born straight from the taco main. <laughs> so I own a pool company in Manatee County, so if you need a pool care service, that's really why I'm up here, I'm trying to do a little advertisement. 
ready for this? Another clean pool. I ain't playing, I ain't playing. That's the name of it, that's the name of it. I, I, listen, I'm the pool guy who you wanna hire, okay? I'm the pool guy who you wanna hire. Because if you've got a sexy wife, you got a pretty mama at the house, I show up in that Speedo, she's not gonna want this. She don't want another butter. No way, man. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. I really shouldn't even be talking about the kid's mother like that, you know, since she's no longer with us, but <laughs> she lives over in Clearwater now. I mean, shit, as soon as she got her, uh, her green card and then her citizenship, she was gone. I was like, ah, ass and elbows, that's all I saw in a little dust. But yeah, so needless to say, I own the pool company. I've got a Colombian uh, chef, drug lord, who I work for. He says, hey, you need to come to my party. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I'm there. You know, I'm single. There's gonna be a lot of hot Latinas. And so I get to this party and sure enough, I, I'm walking around and he's introduced me. I'm like, oh, this is the pool guy. This is the pool guy. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm the pool guy. I'm the pool guy. Next thing I know, I walk out to the backyard to inspect the pool and there's a freaking alligator in the pool. I'm like, what the? He better not have called me to this party They expect me to get that thing out. That ain't happening. So he sees me over, he comes out, he goes, okay, okay, I go get somebody $50,000 to get in the pool with the alligator. I'm like, I don't think so. Everybody's looking at me like, jump in. Fuck that. Next thing I know, he comes out again five minutes later, okay, okay, I go get somebody $100,000 to get in the pool with the alligator. And all of a sudden I see the freaking Mexican lawn care guy dive in head first. I'm like, what the fuck, he's trying to take my job. So I jump in. And well, he beats me to the freaking alligator, of course. He can swim faster. I'm like, I grab a hold of the tail. And I'm holding on to that thing. And that's, that's the strongest part of the alligator. And he throws me to the shallow end. And I'm like, oh my God. And I look, and Pedro's on top of that alligator. And he's doing a death row with it. And all of a sudden, I see Pedro pry that thing's mouth wide open. And he kills the alligator. I'm like, what? Oh my God. I lost my job. So needless to say, Pedro gets out and the drug lord runs over to him. Ay, oh, mio, that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life, Pedro. Oh my God, I'm gonna give you $100,000. Pedro says, no, I don't want no $100,000. He says, Pedro, Pedro, whatever it is that you want, I give it to you, demon, what is it? Pedro says, I want to know the name of the motherfucker that pushed me in that pool. <laughs> that's been my time, y'all have a good night. Let him know, folks, James Nutter. I told you that we have people in the class from all over the world. This next guy 